we're going to go through some tribulation time. Jesus, asked, Jesus' disciples asked him in Matthew 24 and in Mark 13 and in Luke 21, all three passages lined up here, Lord, when are you coming and what's the sign we should watch for? So he tells them, he answers their question. In Matthew, it takes up 23 verses. And in the middle of this 23 verse passage, there's a green box here where the abomination of desolation is set up. That comes in the middle of the tribulation. So the first half of this is the first three and a half years. The second half down here is the last three and a half years. Same thing in uh, Mark, only it takes up 19 verses. But in the middle is the abomination of desolation. You can look at the chart. Same thing in Luke, it only takes up 17 verses. At the end of each one, it says, after the tribulation, he comes back, you know, angel blows a trumpet and catches up the saints. The rapture. Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. What's the first thing we ought to do? Be alert that we don't get deceived. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Jesus is telling his disciples what's going to happen in this first three and a half years. You and I are going to face this starting pretty soon. You're going to see many people that you thought were good, godly you know, Christians be deceived. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Hey, relax, calm down. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Now the word diverse means diverse, like diversity, in different places. Earthquakes all over, different earthquakes. And these are the beginning of sorrows. Remember, this is the first three and a half years. And then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my namesake. Then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall arise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Iniquity shall abound. How long would it take anybody now to access via the internet or their phone um, something ungodly? Five seconds. Iniquity shall abound, and the love of many shall wax cold. Many people on fire for God are going to just get cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So that is the first passage right here, Matthew, before the abomination of desolation takes place, which is in the middle of the seven-year period. But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues ye shall be beaten. And ye shall be brought before rulers and kings for my name's sake, for a testimony against them. And the gospel must first be published among all nations. When they shall lead you up and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what ye shall speak. Neither do ye premeditate. Don't plan a defense. See, God is using this. When they start persecuting you and dragging you in front of the court, wait till you get there and God will give you what to speak. Whosoever shall be given, whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak ye. For it is not ye that speak, but the Holy Ghost. And now the brother shall betray the brother to death. But what would cause that to happen? This must be intense tribulation time. People under great stress betray their own brother. And the father, the son, and children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Folks, we're going to be here for this.